Uh, what's up? Now, you see that everybody heard that George Simmons been arrested, gave himself up, and went into custody. Now, this is the question. This is the fucking question. Now, it's awfully funny. When they was investigating him, they was doing it for two days, like, oh, for like two months. Two fucking months, and it took them three weeks for that that uh, that lawyer, Angela Angela Corey, to finally realize we're gonna charge him with a murder. Why did it take you two damn years? To, I'm not two years, but two damn months to just to re just finally when him arrested, finally want to arrest him. And it's awfully funny, man, about his two little fucking friends, Frank Taffy and Joe Oliver. Frank Taff this is Frank Taffy, the white guy right here. Frank Taffy. He won he went on Nancy Grace video yeah, Nancy Grace show trying to take up for Zimmerman and all like that. She asked him, Have you seen his wounds? Have you seen his broken nose? He said no. He said, I read about it. I didn't see it, but I read it. Now how you gonna get on national T V and tell the world about the wounds and head the, the head wound and the broken nose and uh, but you but you already see and you tell him, and you tell the world that you read about it but you didn't see it so you really can't bust out on go out on national TV and say oh I didn't see it but I read about it it's just like it's kind of, it's like calling the kid it's like the newspaper they got to show ev pictures just for evidence. There, it's, it's, his stories are non-fiction not non-fiction but fictional his shit is a lie then you got Joe Oliver Joe Oliver who gave up his job just to support Zimmerman he gave up his job Joe Oliver gave, gave up his job to support uh, George Zimmerman now come on now these two fellas been on been sitting up here on national TV for the last two damn months. Somebody's greasing their hands or something, paying them off. If Joe's Oliver is doesn't have a job, how is he earning money? That's one question that people need to ask. How did how did Joe Oliver get paid if he ain't got no job? And second thing is second thing is when uh, uh, Tray Tavon Trayvon Martin died they had his body at the morgue for three days and didn't tell his parents had his body in the morgue for three days and his parents was calling the police department for three days saying that their child's been missing three damn days And they didn't tell him that this boy has been murdered. And and and, and y'all heard about him, for, uh, his two lawyers quitting on him. But he goes to get another one named Mark O'Mara, I want to say. And and it's funny how this Zimmerman sits up here, stop talking to the two lawyers that he had, and goes up and posts website I'm gonna show you the website so he can get donations to pay his get to get donations to pay his lawyer bills now why would you look it says look the real George Zimmerman dot com now he's got the American flag in the background he's got all, all this whole story this defense legal and you scroll down here donate visa massacre all these all oh, it is now come on now why would a criminal why wouldn't a criminal I just don't get it and, 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 and I just don't get it that this man puts up puts this up just to get money so you're asking American public to donate money that is not the best thing to do is to ask to ask the American people to donate money look how, look how skinny he is It makes no sense on how these people didn't know that his that. Oh, I just think I just don't get it. 
it took two months to arrest this it took two months to prosecute this man when it was Casey Anthony what they do they waited two weeks before they even put her in a damn jail cell and, and let her sit there for a while Well, I know y'all probably said, I said, well, didn't you see your last video, two videos about it? That, uh, you're not comparing this to Casey Anthony. Those two videos, that's when I was getting my little inf my information. Because the murder was not like Casey Anthony because he, because he shot, because Zimmerman shot the kid in a fucking populated area. Casey Anthony killed her baby somewhere else. And say, and another thing is, the reason why I'm doing it, uh, comparing Casey Anthony to George Zimmerman, the George Zimmerman case now, is because of one thing is, it's time for him to get charged. He's getting charged, and why is he's getting charged? That's one thing he's getting charged about it. He's getting a the charge. They say he's getting secondary murder that he can get up to 25, 25 years to life. I wouldn't say 25 to life, man, because you, because you giving these people an option. You giving, you giving the parole board an option. Should we let him walk, or should we leave him now? No. How come when it comes down to somebody killing somebody, some of these people go straight to death row, and but he get 25 to life. Tookie William got death row for a crime he didn't commit in California. Evidence showed that he wasn't at the crime scene. The evidence showed that he was nowhere near. The evidence showed that said he didn't send no hit, nothing. It was one of the people that was in his gang that killed some people. But Tukey Williams got blamed for it. Even though Tukey Williams was somewhere else in another state. Tukey, Tukey Williams spent years. This is like the 80s now, late early 80s, late 80s, all the way to 2000, where they killed him off. All the evidence that was there showing he was innocent, he got killed anyway. It's funny they put an innocent man on death row for a crime he didn't commit, but when it comes down to a man that committed a crime of killing a child, Oh, it's oh y'all rather let him walk the streets. When he got a, when he got arrested, nobody I don't know if new people didn't know this, but when he got arrested, they remember that tape when he got arrested the first time they booked him and all this and that. After he got released, the police gave the gun back. Police then gave him the gun back. And the second thing is this the uh, Frank Taffy motherfucker went on was on there some great talking about he's a that he was a uniform some like uniform like he was trying to say that Zimmerman was a popo when he wasn't he was not in, he was no police and he said up oh he he had the right to carry a gun yeah that's for protection but when when you sit up there and you call the police and the police tells you not to pursue this person, then what makes what gives you the right to follow Trayvon Martin and to and to and to shoot him? His Trayvon Martin's girlfriend. Trayvon Martin's girlfriend. We don't know her name because they were trying to protect the identity. Cool, fine. It's okay with me because her identity needs to be protected told the people of the news told the people that when she was on the phone with Trayvon with Trayvon that she he was telling her somebody's following me I don't know who's following me so he goes back to the to the person's car and asks her why you following me the next thing you know is the phone went dead Come on now, this is a witness right here that told told the police that she heard heard Trayvon tell her that somebody's following him. Now, 
it, like I, I've said in two videos or three videos, the police told him, told Zimmerman not to pursue this kid. Not to, not to, not to. But he did anyway. And see, there was there should have been enough evidence right there violating police, uh, police uh, disobeying the police direct order not to pursue the, the criminal, to pursue the person. I would say criminal, but he wasn't a criminal. But to pursue a person, uh, pursue a person, that was the violate. Uh, he wasn't obeying orders, and there was people at the beginning of this. There was people asking, "Why did he get out of his car? Why did he follow him? Why ain't y'all charged?" See, that should have been the first thing they should do was book him already and let him sit there and did the, start doing the investigation. They still didn't let him walk the street with the handgun ready to shoot somebody else. Plus, they gave him. Plus, they gave this man enough time to run, enough time to skip town, enough time to go to another country. Cause they was playing. They that was playing. That was see all this playing. And the video, the video. Now, now I tell you this. I kept asking for the damn hospital or doctor report, and all I've got is motherfuckers telling me the M.E took a report on it. Bullshit. When you catch a fucking head trauma injury that they say that say this Zimmerman took because they said Trayvon took his head and hit it, took him and hit his back of the head to the sidewalk. That's a head trauma. That's head, one hell of a head trauma because one thing is if he Trayvon took his head and hit his head on the back of the on the on the street or the sidewalk, he wouldn't be conscious. The blood would have been spilling out of his head. He won't be able to walk. See what I'm saying? Plus, if his head was fucked up that badly, he would not be up walking around. He'd be in the hospital right now. Uh, recuperating and healing from the injuries he took if his head was banged on the ground or on the sidewalk or on the street cause, that's, cause your head would have busted wide open you would have had been in a coma or you been would have been brain probably brain dead from the brain dead from that shit because one thing is if you hit your head on something hard bam you get dazed and confused because depend on how hard your head hits that ground. Anybody knows that shit. And like I said, do not sit up on here and tell me, oh, the M.E. wrote a report. Fuck that shit. I'm not worried about an M.E. writing a fucking report. Don't give me that, oh, the doctor did write a report. Where the fuck is the report? I didn't see it. I know the rest of America didn't see it. They heard there was a report, but we didn't see a report. We didn't see a bandage on his head. We didn't see a bandage on his nose. Now you look at his. Now you look at him now. He lost weight, and he and he he don't look like he broke his nose because there would have been something setting his nose nose back in place because it would have took weeks for your nose to set back in place. It would have, and I'm a, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. This motherfucker. I thought it, it was just stupid for what, what this guy said because it's got to the point now they're gonna charge him for murder, second degree murder. Now, if they charge him for second degree murder. Why would people still consider to support him, even though the evidence are matching up against him? The second thing is, as long as we sat here, the no. The second thing is, as long as they sat there and allowed that evidence to sit on that table, any of those, any of them police officers would have had the chance to tamper with the evidence, just so just so Zimmerman could be free. They really didn't do a good job if they allow a man to walk out of a out of a jail cell 
out of a jail cell out of jail and give him his gun back so he can go back out and shoot somebody and self and claim self defense now they got these southern states rethinking about the uh, self defense law because of this incident don't sit up here and act like y'all ain't like y'all ain't hearing me like don't sit up here and say think I'm full of shit just because the truth is the truth don't sit up here Joe you stupid I'm gonna support Zimmer for what reason what so he can get out and shoot another person in the head shoot another kid in the head and claim self defense it makes no sense And I wish motherfuckers would stop posting the same bullshit on my damn video. He's Hispanic. Motherfucker, he's white and Hispanic. Quit telling me he's Hispanic. He is half and half, motherfuckers. He's mixed. Damn. I'm telling you. That's all it is. That is all it is. Fuckers are sitting up here. Fuckers are on here fighting more about what color, what race George Zimmerman is than the re about Trayvon's death. That's all it is. Motherfuckers are thinking more about it. Trayvon's death, uh, more about Zimmerman's skin tone. I'm telling you. Because that's all it is. I've sat here and I watched this shit go continue on on my, my videos and shit. Oh, he's, he's Hispanic. Motherfucker, he's guilty. He ain't Hispanic. He guilty. They ain't no, that's all that is. Hispanic, white, whatever. He guilty. He killed a child. There you go. That's all you need to know. That handles that whole racist shit going on. I don't give a fuck. What, I don't give a fuck whatever. He killed a child, you go to jail, motherfucker. That's all it is to me. You you kill a child, you go to jail. Got two motherfuckers getting paid off to stick up for him. A Frank Taffy, T-A-F-F. No, it's T-A-A-F-F, -F, Taffy. That's fucked up, man. When I first saw, I, when I first heard it, okay, T A F F Taffy, with the Y. No, but he spelled the name T A A F F, and George Oliver. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are getting paid. These fuckers are getting paid because there's no way in hell one man's gonna give up his job and just roll out. See what I'm saying? Ain't no man's gonna give up his job to support a, a murderer. A murderer. Somebody's paying him, and ain't nobody brought this to the, brought this to anybody's attention that somebody's paying Joe Oliver and Frank Tanfield. Cause look, they've been on TV more than the damn family has. Think about it. How come he's been on? Both of these people been on TV more than the family of Trey, Trayvon Martin. Or Zimmerman's family. You ain't heard. That's all I'm asking. Why is these two motherfuckers been on TV more than Trayvon Martin's family and Zimmerman's family? You saw his brother once. Zimmerman's brother once. 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 And that's it. That is it. You don't see nothing else. I've had people tell me it was midnight. I, I had people tell me that he got murdered. Uh, Trayvon got murdered at midnight, but it was on the 7, 7 14. I'm telling you, man, you hear so much. You hear so much bullshit that it's not even funny. I just don't get it, man, on how they waited so long to do something. If it was really. Cause where I'm from, man, they would have booked the motherfucker straight off the bay. They, oh, he he had drugs on him. He get booked. They ain't let him go back out on the street. 
They didn't. They didn't. That's all it is to it, man. These people are playing. They get the. They allow this man to walk. They allow this man to sit there and, and do what, whoever the hell he wants. Cause that first kill, cause that kill, I did not. When he killed this child, man, it was fucked up. And people still get mad saying, "Oh, he's not a child. He's not a kid." Look, you're under 18. You're a fucking kid, dude. You're not a child. I mean, you're you're a child, but you're a kid. I sat here and I watched a lot of people. I've actually had people. I, I, and I sit here and look at it. If a person like if a black person flipped it the other way, they'd be in a jail cell quick, heart, quick, fast, and a heartbeat. That's all it is. Quick, fast, and a heartbeat. If it was a black man killing a white man. But it's a race. Look, one thing, is, it is a racial issue. And second thing is, it is what it is. It's a racist issue and it's something else. And, and, and one thing is that really, that people didn't ask, really didn't ask is, he said he went to 7-Eleven. If he went to Seven Eleven, what's the security? Where's the security tapes at? Where's the security tapes at? Why ain't nobody pulled the security tapes from Seven Eleven to see who see who he was with? You see what I'm saying? How come the police tapes? How come the police didn't pull the tapes from? the 7-Eleven and that's a question that everybody should be asking where is the tape where is the 7-Eleven videotape to see who was with them who took them who picked them up and who rolled who whatever they didn't even do that so how do we cause how do we know that Zeman went down to 7-Eleven and shot him How do we know? Because we don't know because they didn't pull the tapes. Now, I want to show you something that, that, that I read to, uh, yesterday, whatever. That a guy, he wrote something about, about Zimmer supporting Zimmer and he deleted his whole channel. He sat there and he said this about Zimmer, Zimmer that he supports him, but he took the channel down before he got anything because he a punk ass just for doing it let me show you okay justice for Zimmerman I don't know why he said this justice for Zimmerman Mr. Zimmerman is a real American stand by you don't give up hope sir America um, okay Americans can stand up to the media and our racist president Obama's not racist stand up now or tomorrow you could be the next Zimmerman, self-defense is not a crime. Unite now, and his name was Ray Air One. Obama's not a. If Obama was a racist, do you think he'll have any white people on his staff? He would only have blacks. If you think Obama was racist, he would have passed the bill off. No white folks in government or politics. If Obama was racist, he would have sat there and had, actually sat there and revert, went back to slavery and said, all the white folks be slaves. Obama's not a racist. That's Donald Trump shit. Donald Trump hates black folks and hates transgenders and hates homosexuals. That's the fucking racist, not Obama. But it is what it is. But I'm telling like it is. They didn't have the police. They didn't. They didn't pull the police. They didn't pull the tapes from 7-Eleven to see what happened down there. They went three days without telling this boy, boy's parents, what happened to him. They called three damn call every day just to see what if they could find their son. Another thing is they didn't even see the police tape. That tape was somewhere else. The police tape was somewhere else on the other side of town. On the other side of that, uh, that closed community, the gated community, 
I'm telling you, I just don't get it how the police didn't do their job. They didn't. And when 17 year old is going to go out in public without ID, without ID, they would have had ID on him. Like, he would have had an ID, like a license or a regular ID. His police, not police, but his uh, school badge, his school ID. Because I remember when I was in high school, we had to have school IDs. You know what I'm saying? We would have had some kind of identification on him. And they went three days and I was saying, they went all these days and they couldn't find his parents. Come on now. They just didn't want to call him his parents. And with, and, and, and to, to make it even funny, they waited for like to make it fucked up, they waited fourteen hours to get Whitney Houston's body. I wonder what they was doing. So with Trayvon Martin. They waited three damn days to tell his parents that he was dead. I wonder what they was fucking doing. To me, it sounded like they hard. And one thing is, how come they check Trayvon Martin's body for narcotics and alcohol, but they never checked Zimmerman for narcotics and alcohol? I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why they why they did that. I say, you know why? You know why they check organs to see if it has narcotics or alcohol in it? Because they harvest body parts. They harvest organs. You can say, oh, well, he's probably an organ donor. How we know? How, how do we know? He could, he probably was a, he probably he probably is an organ donor or he probably is not but that's how it is man they took three days just to tell his parents he's dead they probably took his organs they blood they did a test on to see if he had any alcohol or drug narcotics any narcotics in the system in his organs but they didn't test the Zimmerman for it why is that they didn't test him for narcotics or alcohol, but they damn sure go test Trayvon. I just don't get people. They sit up here and all these damn people try their best to make Trayvon look bad. Oh, he was yelling at the teacher. He had clear plastic bag that smelled like weed. He got suspended from school for vandalism. What does his, what does getting in trouble in high school have to do with any damn thing to his death why did the police wait so damn long to tell his parents that he's dead and why did they fucking lie to his parents and say there was no ID on him knowing there was if it was 7 o'clock at night and raining 7 o'clock cause you know daylight savings time you roll the clock ahead an hour it gets dark at night so it was raining. He was wearing the hoodie. Come on now. Because it was raining. Oh, it was 70, 67 degrees. Look, you're going to wear a hoodie when it's raining. I know I did. But these people don't. And I'm, I'm telling you, they, y'all ain't asking the right questions. Like, what, like where's the 7 Eleven tapes if, if you went to 7 Eleven? Where's the real doctor's report if he really got hurt? Where's the bandage? Where's the, the bandage for his nose? If his head, head really got hit the concrete on the sidewalk or hit the street, he would be in a fucking coma depending on how hard you slam a person's head. You can't cover up and back up a man that lied about getting hurt. Then you got the police tapes 46 times to the police station about black folks. Then you, that's the racist part right there, 46 times to the police station about black people. That's the racist shit. Then you got the call, then you got, got the motherfuckers 
then you got the uh, damn. Then you got the police telling him not to pursue Trayvon, but he did. Then you got the other phone call where his, Trayvon's girlfriend sits there and tells him when Trayvon tells his girlfriend somebody's following him and he wants back and that's it. She didn't hear nothing else but the phone went dead. But everybody else heard Trayvon screaming, yelling for help. And another thing, in the video, you didn't see a blood stain, a grass stain. You didn't even see his shirt out of place. His shirt was tucked in. He was clean. He was dressed. His clothes was clean. He was clean. No blood, no nothing. Now, his shirt was tucked in. Now, if he was wearing the clothes, if the, the clothes he was wearing in the police video was the clothes that he killed Trayvon Martin is there would have been blood or grass stain on his clothes you probably seen when grass stains so yeah from shuffling around on the ground trying to fight Trayvon Martin no second thing is another thing is about that if they're gonna sit there and arrest him and book him the first time why didn't they ask for the clothes that he was wearing so they could be shipped off to the lab to get tested for the DNA and evidence to back up his claim. Ain't none of this came out in the wood came out of nowhere. There was no work done on the clothes. He was too damn clean when he went to the damn police station. There was no bandages on him to claim that he was in a fight struggling. None of this. And why did the police act so nicely when they was patting him down? Like they was really looking at him like, oh, he's somebody special. That's how it is. I'm telling you, man, if he, if, I'm telling you, man, the new lawyer he's got, he's already associated down the floor like he's a big top name. He worked with big businesses. I think I was watching uh, 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 NBC or CBS. Now it was NBC, and he said the the, the the news anchor said he got that he's working for NBC or some company works with NBC. Like the lawyer, if you got some, t if that lawyer got some ties with big media and big media and other big businesses, I don't think he should be Trey, uh, not Trayvon, but Zimmerman's lawyer, because he can get away. Because if he's if this brother walks, man, if Zimmerman walks, man, he's dead on the dead when he walks out. You know somebody gonna be sitting out there with a gun to shoot his ass. They find he finally turns himself in. Somebody's paying. Somebody's hands getting greased. Now thank you still, uh, uh, Frank Taffy and Joe Oliver. Because they are the only two motherfuckers that spend more time on national TV than Trayvon, Trayvon's family. Trying to make him look innocent. Oh, he's not a racist. Then explain why the 46 calls on black folks. Explain why. Because I, I, I heard the video, uh, the, the, the call when he said he's supposed to be fucking, supposed to be saying F a fucking coon. It kind of sounded like he said fucking like the first time I heard it, it said, okay, so it does sound like it says cold. But they kept playing it. I said, you know what? It does kind of like, it does sound like it said, he said coon. Fucking coon. And it does sound, and it sounds racist. It sounds like it's, a, it's some racist shit. Frank Taffy is getting paid just to say he's innocent. Joe, Joe. Oliver is getting paid because he's not work, working where his money's coming from. I know it's not from his wife, but I know from maybe him helping out Zimmerman. If he said he, if Taffy and Oliver are so close to Zimmerman, why don't they subpoena him, both of them into the courtroom to testify? Why didn't they get the videos from 7-Eleven? Why did they wait three damn days just to tell his parents that he's dead? Why did Gerardo Rivera bust out and say, Oh, the, uh, the hood is much of a blame than Trayvon Martin. It's just like saying a woman in, uh, a woman wearing a tight dress is much to, the dress is much to blame for a woman getting raped. It's like that. It's like the dress is, 
you can't blame something it happens you can't blame a hoodie for getting them killed you blame the person that killed him that killed him that got him killed I'm telling you man it still puzzles me why wait two months to finally say we're going to press charges on him we're going to charge him with murder and he's fucked up it took three weeks for the woman Angela Corey to finally realize we needed that they need to charge him. Why'd it take you down three damn weeks and why did you want to go to the grand jury? That's bullshit. Why you waste too much time? They could have fucked up the evidence. Half of them would have been destroyed. Half of them got lost. Half of them been tampered with. All that shit just because you waited too damn long to stay for shit, man. That's all it is. I want y'all to ask these questions to everybody. Go If you're down in Florida and you watching this, Go down there and ask them, you know, why didn't they pull the tanks from the 7-Eleven if he got, if he went to the 7-Eleven, and why did it take three damn days for the police just to tell Trayvon Martin's parents that he's dead? Makes no sense. Makes no sense. And he was only 70, 70 feet from the house. If he was 70 feet from the house, his parents would have saw that tape. You know that tape that closed off the area? He, the parents would have saw that down the street. But they ain't see it. Wait a if he was only 70, 70 feet away from I'm telling you, man. And then, this has been Afro Troll telling like TIS, man. I'm telling you, man. I wish this mug would. I would, no, they need to say fuck it. Twenty five to life. No, fuck that shit. Send his ass on death row. Send him on death row. Talking about he want to be a police officer and be a lawyer too, and he went to criminal justice. Man, he got. I'm telling you, man. For a person that got a criminal justice degree or whatever, he show is done. Now they gonna change the self defense law. In the southern states, or probably the other states too, because what he did claim self defense by shooting the child and killing him instantly. Okay, after the police told you not to, okay, motherfucker. Like I said, this has been Afro Joe 10. Like it is. If you like what I got to say, leave a comment or a video response because I would love to hear what you think about this topic about this topic about this topic if you don't like what I got to say man kiss my ass and move on or go hang yourself or something cause I really don't have time for negative I really don't have time for bullshit motherfuckers like I had this dude about Zimmerman oh Zimmerman the American the president I don't have time for motherfucker go choke yourself uh, follow me on twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. subscribe to my channel you can go look up and the left hand side you see CeeLo Jr. 2 next to it it be uh, next to it is subscribe to me subscribe to my channel alright then it's been Afro Joe jo the Wookie do the right thing people do the right thing take a stand against dumb asses dumb digging the booty asses like George Zimmerman holla at me